What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be going over Wondershare Recover It. What is Wondershare Recover It? Basically, in the name of the software itself, it helps you recover files. Now you can see on screen right now, this is the user interface, and these are all the things it helps with. So deleted files, files you may delete by mistake, recycle bin recovery, everyone's done it, they've deleted an item, then deleted it from the recycle bin, and then realized they actually needed the file. Formatted disk recovery, lost partition recovery, external devices recovery, virus attack data recovery, system crash data recovery, and all around recovery. Now I'd also like to point out that this program is also available for Android and iOS. So I'm gonna select this, and then you can see at the top right, it's going to be giving us an estimated time to find all these files that have been deleted in the past. And then here we have a status bar in percentage. We can then also pick from a tree view or a file view and now just let it do its thing while it finds files. So you can see the scanning is now completed and this is how it looks. So of course we do have it in a tree view. We can change to files view. And you can see that makes it really simple for those that do work with photos, who work with videos, you can search by format, which is going to be very, very useful. So of course, you can just go ahead and click through. You can see PSD is right here, of course, being Photoshop and just a bunch of different photos. So you can see it's actually found 7340 photos. It's found 181 videos and you can see audio files. There are quite a lot there as well. Of course, along with documents, this can be text, this can be documents uh, from Word or even Excel, everything will be here. Now, if I head back over to photo and go to PSD and we come to the casual sat or casual cast, select this with a tick, we can then select recover. And as mentioned at the start, this program is not free. You can see at the moment, it does tell me it is 100 megabytes for free version. And this file we're trying to recover is 9.53 megabytes, meaning we can go ahead with this. So we can select evaluate. And then you can choose where you want to recover it to. I'm going to select my uh, desktop here and the C drive and select recover. Now you can see we get this error. So if you do, you can cancel it. It's up to you. Or for me, I'm just going to go to um, here. I'm going to put it onto my desktop. So that would be under users. Of course, it'll be under myself, desktop, and then I'm going to put new folder. And I'll just put test, select enter, and select recover, evaluate, and go back to that folder. Which is right there, select recover, select save. Recovering files, congratulations, files recovery completed. Now over on my second monitor, this has opened up and I'm gonna select photo, select PSD. As you can see, we have that PSD file right here. It is the exact same one. You can see at the bottom left, it gives us our megabytes, which is 9.53, as I mentioned earlier. So do remember that the free version only allows you to recover files up to 100 megabytes. And of course, this is only deleted file recovery. But you've seen how simple and quick it is to do that. You can also recover from the recycling bin, formatted disk recovery, lost partition, system crashes, virus attacks, external devices recovery, and of course the all round. So it's a really quick software. And in my opinion, I am impressed by how quickly that did search my uh, computer and also how easy it was to actually recover this. Now I definitely do recommend you guys give this a try at least a free trial if you are in need of recovering files. Of course, test it out first, see if it works for you. You've just seen it does work for me. So there's no doubt that it will work for you. So going over the prices, as you can see, we do have the free version, which allows you to recover up to 100 megabytes, as I mentioned already. Then we have the pro version along with the ultimate version. Now, to be honest, the pro version is probably the only one you'll need. No need to be going up to the ultimate version. However, if you want to, you can. You can see the license is a one year subscription. However, a lifetime license, only $10 extra, which brings it to $49.95. So depending how much you're going to be using this, depending if you're going to be using it a lot, 
If you're a photographer, then I do highly recommend you do this because everyone knows you go through a lot of files in one night and there's a high chance that you end up deleting files accidentally. Now, if you can continue to scroll down, you can see the only difference between the pro and the ultimate version is the bootable media. Um, again, it is only a $10 difference. If I go to lifetime, $20 difference. So you can see not too bad on the prices here. And of course it is a lifetime fee. So $50 and you get that for life. At the bottom, you can see what they accept here. Everything is going to be, of course, nice and secure. We have American Express, we have MasterCard, Visa and PayPal, just to name the few of the main ones there. A great thing about this product, of course, no worries. There is seven day money back guaranteed. So if the program doesn't work for you within seven days of purchasing, there you go. You get your money back. Just make sure you email within the seven days. And of course, you will be saved from spending your money or losing out on money. One last great thing I'd like to point out, you can see 24 seven free US tech support. So that is going to be coming in handy if you ever need extra support using this program. But you can see I have shown you how to use this today. It's a very simple program and it's a program I do recommend if you need to recover files quickly and securely. Mm -hmm.